Speaking of front rowers, and they are undoubtedly very valuable, Payne Haas set to reject a $3.5 million deal with the Broncos. It's a lot of money. Over what, three years? I, I believe so. Years? I believe <laughs> it it's depends on the over years. three years. Three years. Right. I mean, it can't be much. It can't, it can't any more money, can well, it? We're looking at possibly the best front rower we've ever seen. I think people can see that. He's improving his game, he's getting a pass, he's getting an offload, as we're seeing here. Uh, we know the player he is. But you, you, can't be, you can't be spending a big chunk of your salary cap on a front rower, paying more than... You can't be paying more than 1.1. 1, 1. When you've got Ezra Mann, who I see as a, a player on the up and up. Mm. He's one player I'd be playing real big money for. And you've got Reese Walsh, who... Yeah. So if, if I had to put him in order, I'd, Bruce Walsh can't never let him go. Mm. Ezra Mann, Reynolds is coming to the end. He, he's a priority. Payne's a priority, but you can't be paying any more than 1.1. Your salary cap is so out of whack. Mm. Whether they can, you know, get third parties and all that. Not allowed. Club's not allowed. Oh, he, uh, they need to win the comp. It's one of those things if... He's worth three and a half million, I think. Oh, he, without a doubt. He's nearly a 65-minute player. But I'm saying you he, can't he nearly pay... Takes, I know, but he nearly takes up, from a point of view of front rowers, how long they play. In start of origin, he played 60-some minutes and he was going as good as mm. anyone else on the field at the time. He could have played 80 minutes. You know, you'd wear him out without a doubt. And he gets a couple of injuries every now and then. OK. But you could buy him now for that and they go on to win the comp and it's a bargain. Mm. You wait for they win the comp, and he has a blinder. Then well, he will have a blinder. Well, what do you reckon Lazo was paid in the day? Like you know, let's say well, relative, okay. Rel relative. Okay. What okay. do well, you he reckon? He went to three big clubs. Is it Canberra? Is that then Canberra? Then he went to Melbourne. Then yeah. he went. That's no, what I mean. He went Canberra, Brisbane, Brisbane Melbourne. Melbourne. He would have been paid. So they I don't won, think he would have been paid. They went in the comps to Canberra. Went to Brisbane, won the comps. Went to Melbourne, won the comp. So if you're paying one point one or above that, that's about 11 12 percent of your salary mm. cap. That's a lot of money for a front. When you got Ezra Mam and you got Reese Walsh. Well, Reese Walsh is the other key. And you got Adam Adam Reynolds. He's on contract next year, but he wants to go another year. I mean, there's no we halfbacks. Mm. Well, you we well, you can if you juggle your salary cap. Yeah, but I'd. Okay, yeah. Ezra Mam, if he was off now and I was at a club, I would pay 900 for Ezra Mam. Wow. I, I think he's a half. His, his game on the weekend, he was busted. He made some tackles. He did some tough things. We just spoke about we just spoke about before about front rowers. They've got the best go forward. Not only they got Payne, they got Flegler, and they got all these young kids. Carrigan. Flegler's going, and, and but they the got other, these young forwards coming. through. And then through. the other one they got is, you know, if he doesn't do it, Ezra, you've got Walsh, who's the best in the comp at it, who's nailing opportunities. So if Ezra's got to go to another club and do all of that, that's a very different job to what he's seen at the moment. Hmm. They're all, they're all looking through rose-coloured glasses at the moment, the Broncos. They're flying. So he, he can't want any more money than $3.5 million, you know what, can he? Over, no, it's not $3.5 million. It's $1.1 over three years. Yeah, no, I understand that. But the, it's, a, it's the value of the contract that's got to be registered. No, on but it's got, you've got to weigh it down... It'll go up with salary. You've got to weigh it down to every year, what it's worth every year. Uh, that much? I would pay that much, but you couldn't pay... Any more, like another 150 years. Interesting what value he is to another club. I wonder what he what value he is to the you know, the Tigers or Canterbury or a team that's down the bottom. Gee. Well mate, he's Yeah, worth. but you wonder what you can pay. Look who's the highest paid <laughs> who's the highest paid player? Caleb. He'll be on one point four next year. One point four. Which is around yeah, four thirteen, fourteen percent of his salary cap. And right. mate, he deserves it. What's no was Nathan Cleary be on similar money? Uh, no, I don't think so. I know Delhi Cherubins is on pretty, like he's up there as yeah. well. Mm. You've got to be making a difference. Week in, week out. You've got to be, and you know what you've got to be doing? You've got to be making semis. If mm. you're getting that money, you need to be making semis. Now, they made a semi this year. Did they make it last year, Brisbane? Or they, no, they, no they, they flopped, remember? They, they, they were in the top four. I hope he just gets it done and signs and is a one club man. Without a doubt, you need to be making semis and you need to be making top four. If you're getting that sort of money, you're going to be making a difference. Well, they're going to go deep into the finals this year. Oh, they're, they're, so. oh they're, they're f if Penrith's fully fit, the only team that can beat them is Brisbane and they have to be at their very best.